guys, we uh, we have some really tragic breaking news right now. I can't even keep it together. <sighs> I have tears in my eyes right now. I'm I'm so sad to report that. Bad Bunny has left El Muerto, and this film has now been delayed indefinitely. Let's go! Uh, yeah, not sad at all. This is actually pretty exciting news. Um, yeah, so... Man, I, I, like, yeah. El Muerto. El No-No. Like, that, that's what this really is, because I remember when they first announced this, and I, I didn't even know who El Muerto was. And then even when I did find out about him, I was like, okay, why are they making this movie? The only reason they were making this movie is because of Bad Bunny. Because Bad Bunny wanted to make a Spider-Man movie, and he was like, oh, I like wrestling, so let's put the two together and let's make an El Muerto movie. That's literally the only reason this movie exists. And ever since it's been announced, this movie has just been a meme. Like, it's been worse than Morbius at this point, because Morbius came and gone, you know, it's Morbin time and everything. But, you know... It literally, <laughs> anytime somebody is referencing, like, something stupid or, like, you know, the Sinister Six that Sony is setting up, they're like, oh, El Muerto, like, that's gonna be the big thing that they're setting up, Spider-Man versus El Muerto, like, yeah, um, yeah, so, El Muerto, um, nobody wanted this, um, still nobody wants this, and we got a, a little bit of a sad update the other day when we heard that Sony had a Fisher move the film from his calendar, it was supposed to release in January, which clearly that's not very realistic, even if they started filming now, um, and then it not did, not only did it not get a new release date, but it was just put on the shelf and delayed indefinitely. Um, there was supposed to be some other behind the scenes stuff going on. Um, I don't even know if they had a director for this film. Uh, pretty much all I knew about it was we had El Muerto, um, played by Bad Bunny. And that was basically, the, again, the only reason that this movie was even happening is because of Bad Bunny. But now today, the news officially comes out that Bad Bunny has left the movie. He's not playing El Muerto anymore, which, oh man, what a shame. Um, but you know, j just as, d don't go getting too excited though, people, because just as soon as you see that headline, the next line is the role of Mel El Muerto will be recast. Like what? Th that doesn't make any sense. Nobody wants this movie. Why are they still making it? And literally the only reason they were making this movie is because Bad Bunny wanted to make this movie. So if Bad Bunny isn't even involved anymore, why are they still making this movie? I don't know. It makes zero sense. And especially when you factor in the other things we've heard about this film, like the basic plot synopsis of it is that you got two luchador wrestlers who gain these superpowers. Um, apparently, like their ancestors fought Spider-Man or, or something really weird and crazy like that. And they end up fighting the mob, which I don't know how two superpowered luchador wrestlers start fighting the mob, but somehow that happens. And one of the few bright spots of this movie is that Marvin Crondon Jones III was in final talks to play Tombstone in this movie, which, oh my god, perfect casting. He voiced the character in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Literally, I really desperately need to see Crondon as live-action Tombstone. It's perfect casting, but don't do it in El Muerto. Give it to us in an actual Spider-Man movie, people. Like, I, I'm just befuddled like what is sony thinking with these movies um like they have great casting sometimes but then the movies they make the stories they tell the morbius post credit scene like literally what are they thinking sometimes um i mean this would have been cool to see crondon as tombstone but again hey if it doesn't work out with elmo Ware, though put him in spider-man 4 with tom holland that's how you fix this issue. Apparently, Hammerhead was also supposed to be in this. Another character I would love to see in live action, but, you know, in a Spider-Man movie. We don't need all these villain solo films. If you um, if you watched my trailer breakdown for Craven the Hunter the other day, you heard my thoughts on that. They're not super positive. Um, and I just don't get this. I don't understand why this movie was a thing in the first place. But especially now that Bad Bunny has left the project, they're going to recast the role. Like, who else are you are you even going to get for this part? I don't know. Because Bad Bunny was the only reason they were making this film. But for some reason, they're still doing it. So, I don't know. It's confusing. It's stupid. Um, 
uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I hope they just cancel this movie. Like, honestly, like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but for once, Sony, be like Warner Brothers Discovery and David Zaslov. Do a tax write-off or something. They don't even need to do that. Like, literally, they haven't even filmed anything. The, this movie doesn't even exist yet. They can just basically say never mind and then not make the movie. It's that easy. Meanwhile, you got Warner Brothers Discovery canceling Batgirl after it's already fully made and then them getting away with that. But the Sony is going to be like, nah, we're still going to make El Muerto. Like, how stupid are you people? But, uh, well, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this news? Are you sad that Bad Bunny has left El Muerto? Are you sad that El Muerto is delayed indefinitely? Or are you like me and just want this movie to be canceled? So, um, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the El Muerto life.